a journey through Pinterest. Hello and welcome back to my journey through Pinterest. My name is Nicole. I don't know about you, but I am still so excited about learning how to make pizza dough with my friend Mike. I'm actually going to be making it this week for Friday night pizza night with my kids. Um, but today I traveled around my boards and found uh, two activities that I'm gonna bring you today to honor all of those people, all of my sweet friends that uh, celebrated me for my birthday. I'm 29 for the 16th year in a row, um, but we don't need to talk about that. So I'm gonna be bringing you a DIY screen printed card, a thank you card, and also I'm gonna be making each of them a little sweet treat to say thank you for just how much they loved me. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna get started with our pretzel bar, pretzel crack, whatever you wanna call it. Um, so there's two different parts that we need to, to begin with. We need to lay our pretzels down on our pan that has been lined with tin foil. I went to the grocery store and they had no regular pretzels, so I found these mini pretzels that are gluten-free, which actually is really good because several of my friends that celebrated me so richly are gluten-free, so this is for them. All right, so all you do, according to the instructions, is place, a, place, place the pretzels, hello, pre place the pretzels in a thin layer, not overlapping, on a tin foil, lined cookie sheet. That's what we're gonna do. And then after I do this, we're gonna go over to the stove and it looks like we're gonna be making caramel. Next is time to make the caramel. Two simple ingredients, butter and brown sugar. So we're gonna melt the butter so a whole cup of butter, which is two sticks of butter in a pan with a cup of brown sugar. Okay. Over medium low heat. According to the instructions, it says melt the butter and the sugar on low heat, medium low heat, bring it to a boil, then continue boiling for three minutes, stirring constantly. Ooh, look at this sauce. Everything is melted together. Now I'm just waiting for it to come up to a boil. And again, it's on medium low heat, so you don't wanna boil this too fast. As you can see, right around the edges, it's starting to bubble and boil. So I'm gonna keep stirring and keep an eye on the clock for about three minutes. After we make the caramel sauce, we're gonna pour it all over the pretzels and then put it in a 325 degree oven for about, sorry to check my instructions, eight to 10 minutes. Delicious! I almost can't even wait. So now I'm supposed to pour this sauce all over the pretzels. Now it does say in the instructions that the caramel will even itself out over the pretzels when it's in the oven. So I'm gonna try my best to fill in all the little spaces and trust even itself out. All right, here we go. Eight to 10 minutes in a 325 degree oven. The final step that the recipe calls for is to take chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips, um, put, put it all over the pretzel caramel mixture once it comes out of the oven. So I did not have any chocolate chips, but I did have some Hershey bars left over from camping, all stored away. So I'm going to improvise, take my Hershey Kisses, chop it up, and we'll see how it turns out. Oh my word, this kitchen smells so delicious. Why don't you just take a look at what just came out of the oven. So here are the pretzels that have the caramel sauce melted all over the top. And like the instruction said, the caramel did fill in the gaps where there were holes um, before we put it in the oven. So next, you're supposed to take your chocolate chips, about two cups, or in this case, I have Hershey bars. Put them all over the top 
And you're gonna return it back to the oven for one to two minutes. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but even if it looks like it's a hot mess, it smells delicious and I bet it will taste so good. Only one to two more minutes in the oven just for the chocolate to melt and then we'll spread it and then let it harden. Woo! spread the chocolate and like I said before because it's not a ton of chocolate chips it might not cover everything but I'm gonna do my best and all you really want is a thin layer of chocolate and once this is all spread out you're gonna let it cool All right, first things first, to make the screen print frame, I printed out, or designed, a couple of thank you cards in my brother scan and cut software. Next, you have to reverse the image so that you're putting it on the correct side of the screen. And so if it looks backwards to you, it's supposed to. So now there's like lots of these little circles and things in my thank you card. So it's gonna be a minute while I weed out all of the places that I want there to be ink. I'm excited because I have a lot of different color acrylic inks from different paintings that I've done. Um, but I've never done a screen print with acrylic ink on a card. Um, so this is new. So it's part of this feels familiar, but I've never screen printed on paper using acrylic ink. So I'm super excited to see how it turns out. All right, we are finally ready to cut and bag up our treat, our thank you treat for my friends, our pretzel caramel bark or pretzel crack, whatever you want to call it. Take a look. So I just kind of scored um, and cut these pieces into squares. It needs to set a little bit longer, but I just want to show this to you. So it's got the chocolate, the pretzels, and the caramel on the bag. 
I'm gonna cut this in half. Go give some to my camera lady. And try this. Yummy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. This is so good. I can't even believe it. My friends are gonna be happy that I love them and want to thank them. Join me next time as I travel around my boards to find my next adventure. Thank you.